We are live here from New Zealand, out in the countryside, for what is expected to be a big game here. The New Zealand Warriors coming off a tough loss last week against the Cowboys, 24 points to 6. Well, the Manly Seagulls had one of the closest games they've had in a long time, only narrowly beating the drama-riddled Broncos, 14 points to 10. I'm joined here in the commentary box by Jack Carl. What are you looking forward to about this game? Oh, look, I think this is going to be an absolute ripper. The Warriors had a bit of a struggle uh, last week, but I do think that they are they are finals contenders and Manly, well, again, they also had a bit of a tough run last week, only slightly beating the Broncos. But uh, they're easily the best team in the comp. I think this is going to be a cracker. Yeah, well, currently the, uh, the Manly Seagulls, 16 wins in a row, stretching all the way back to their last loss being Season 2 Round 5 against the Canberra Raiders. And we haven't, and obviously Joey Kelly today making his Bron a manly debut, coming over from the Brisbane Broncos. What are you expecting from him today? Oh, look, he's been pretty quiet to start the season, I think. Um, so I, I expect new team, an amazing team as well, and I think he'll have a, a performance out. Uh, there's been some little rumblings around the SRL about the Joey curse, and that maybe Manly are uh, are going to start to take some losses with Joey joining the team, but um. I think that's too good for that, and I think uh, Kelly will fit straight in. As we have him here, has a brilliant first touch there in Manly Colors, getting a line break, in fact. Chance Bonson is to wrap him up. It's going to go over to Hayden Milhart, and he's straight through a gap. Chance Bonson again getting back there to make an ankle tap. And eventually wrapped up there by Logan Strange on the 30. This goes back. It's going to be Will K to punt it into the backfield. Fielded there by Broughton Thompson, and a great... Tackle there and a great first set by Manly, wasn't it? Yeah, really good first set. Uh, Joey Kelly making that line break and then Melhurt. And then a good little kick there by Kay and the Warriors on the back foot already. Just uh, letting Manly have a lot of meters in that set. Yeah, look, they started pretty well defensively, I thought, the Warriors, considering how easily the Manly Seagulls can make meters. But then they just had a two line breaks in a row, sort of threw all their chances away. As they see, but Josh Corcoran goes for a pass back on the inside after making a line break. Intercepted there by the new lock, filling in for injured vice captain Matt Harris, Jesse Bennett, the man to intercept it there. And Manly Seagulls will get first chance here. It's going to be Ben Daniel Punch, sorry. Plays it there on the 30. Goes over to Will K. His man handled there on the, his back. It's got opportunity early on for Manly. They want to supply some pressure here. Blackburn inside the KCK. That's the fourth tackle. Just past the 20. Looking to go short side here. They're going to go back. Towards the upright. Settling tackle there. Daniel Punch it is. About 12 meters out from the line now. He'll play it there. Goes back to Chaz Dingo. He puts it high. A good bomb there. It's going to be a contested kick. He tapped that for Casey K. Drive McCartney's there. And he's going to be put on his back. And the Manly Seagulls just can't get over. The Warriors survive. Good defense there. Good scramble defense there from, Man uh, from the Warriors. Sorry. It's Manly looking dangerous to start this... Uh to start this game, the Warriors making an error, Manly almost punishing for them for it. We know how dangerous KCK can be, but uh, McCartney able to uh, hold him up at the uh, at the chest. Yeah, look, as Logan Strange makes a line break here, I would have to say that the start, over the start of the season, Manly, they've had a lot more errors in the game than usual, looked a little bit unorganized. You know, obviously that first game against the Cowboys, they had quite a few errors in, in that first half, cleaning up for the second half, ran away with it. And last week, they never really ended up Doing much of the ball. Had a lot of errors in the game. Probably got lucky to come away with the wind in that one. So, good start from Manly, though. As Logan Strange will play that on the 30. The first completed set for the Warriors. Kicks it down to Joey Kelly. And this is the dangerous man here. Gets past one. A good return there. Jai McCartney again with another brilliant tackle there. Goes down to Mellert. He pushes forward. Second tackle just past the 30. Okay, inside there to Casey K. We know how dangerous he is. The big fullback gets up towards the 40. Third tackle now. Go short side. K. Over to Blackburn. Gets past one. Chance Buds is chasing. He actually gets past Chance Buds, but it's going to be, I think, Sean Walker to come around and wrap him up. Holding down for a little long fourth. They might have forced a penalty here. Once again, they're going to have an attacking kick here as Mellert takes another hit up. Had a, he's had a very good start to the game as the Warriors oh, no. give away a penalty. Decision time here for Manly as they're going to take the two. 
Wow, I would have liked to see them put the foot down there. Uh, Manly, they are looking dangerous. They look so on top at the moment. They're just making meters for fun, and um, I guess they want to get a bit of scoreboard pressure uh, on the Warriors, but um, I would have liked to see them put the uh, foot on the throat. Yeah, look, I thought they might have wanted to go there, but I think Manly is sort of sticking to their um, key arrows. I think they actually may have got a penalty goal last week, too, so they're sort of just kicking to what they know. Just sticking to their processes, and I think mainly know if they just keep doing what they usually would do against any team. They should be able to apply pressure there. I think if you're the Warriors, though, you're feeling a bit lucky there. Mainly, they definitely could have put a lot of pressure on there if they chose to take if they chose to keep going. As Warriors gonna kick back off here, Carl Lewis is gonna be gives it a Daniel punch. Another powerful run there from the front rower. He'll play it there first tackle now. Goes, okay. Long pass over. Another brilliant ball over to Malachi oh, wow. Booth. And he's going to be taken down there. Just short off the 50 there. Jesse Bennett gets it over to Kyle Lewis. The 5'8 turned hooker for this season. He'll get up towards the 40. Again, holding out for a little bit long there, the Warriors. But he'll get up there. Daniel Punch it is with another run. That's the fourth tackle. They're already up towards the 30. Goes out here, Dingo gives it short there to Ma Maverick Oldfield. But he can't find any space. Wrapped up there. 28 meters out. It's going to be Dingo who punts across field. Once again over to Broaden Thompson. He'll take it there. We know he's dangerous. He gets past one. Takes on Casey K. In fact, he misses the tackle. But it's going to be Joey Kelly, the new manly player, who gets him there. It's going to be Corcoran now. Patrick Corcoran's up the middle. Gets it offload to Jarvie Cartney. This is looking better from the Warriors. It's going to be just past the 40 there. Second tackle. Sean Walker. Over to Bunce. Chance Bunce looking for some space. A good tackle there. Third tackle. Warriors with their first opportunity all game here. Rex Slatter it is. Gets over to 20. As it's going to be Josh Corcoran to take it up there. Fifth tackle. 12 minutes gone so far. It's going to be Pat Corcoran to put it high. A great kick there. Brilliant kick taken there by Joey Kelly. He's going to put it on his back. But he managed to survive there. Better set there from the Warriors, wasn't it? Yeah, well, both teams so far with a, a defensive masterclass. Both teams have had some opportunities. And um, they both defended it very well. The Warriors, that brought in Thomas line break, followed by Corcoran. Sprinting through the middle. That helped him get back into it. And uh, a great set there from the Warriors. I'd like to see them put a bit of pressure on here, Manly, as it's going to be Lennox Rakash. Takes a hit up there. Fourth tackle now. It's going to go Dingo. Gives a short there to punch. He probably could have gone and took the line on himself there. It's a bit of a gap on the inside there, but he chooses to throw the pass. As Bennett's going to kick it from just inside Manly's half. Take it down once again to Broaden Thompson. He gets past another one. Takes on Casey K. Brilliant tackle there. Ford for a second. Thompson might have gone on the um, inside of him there. It's just an interesting decision so far for um, mainly to be kicking to Broaden Thompson, isn't it? Yeah, well, um, I think um, the Cowboys also targeted Broughton Thompson. And um, I find it odd because Broughton Thompson's quite the talent. And he, uh, he has been punishing them uh, so far. He's been making some good meters off those kick returns. So... Uh, it's an interesting strategy, and it's um, held up through both rounds now. Let's so go inside there. Bunce, it is going to be. Bunce takes on KCK. A brilliant co cover tackle there. Had he had the support, that could have been the first Warriors try. Bunce will play it there. Jai McCartney is going to be. Gets it over to Malachi Booth. It finds grass, in fact. And Malachi Booth's going to oh, be forced to play for kick. it. What a kick there. Malachi Booth didn't want to test his patience. And the Warriors will get the ball back. That was an awesome little kick there, and uh, the Warriors, they've got an awesome opportunity now with uh, Manly, who have had all the ball, all of the opportunities so far. The Warriors could take the lead here. As they go inside there, it's going to be Awatero looking for some space. He'll play it there just past the 40. Corcoran now. Over to his half-partner, Jai McCartney. Gets up over to 30. Third tackle now. 25 metres away, Chance Bunsen's going to be here looking for some space. A good tackle there by Jesse Bennett. Fourth tackle now. It's going to be on McCartney. 
Over to David Barn. Haven't really done much in this set, but they're setting up nicely here. They want to put a good kick in here. Let's see what Jai Makani can do here. He's calling for it on the last. He's going to put up a broom bomb. That's a good kick. Tapped back, but no one's back oh. there. Jesse Bennett catches it. He's streaking away. I think he'll get caught in a big lock forward. He's still going, though. Over to 40. Nah, he's gone. I he's think got he's got gone that. here. That's a, a, a tackle, A cover tackle coming across. And what a great tackle oh. there by Isaac Simons. It is Meters a Meters away. Chaz Dingo now taken on the line. Second tackle. Short ball there to Jesse Bennett. Third tackle now. A meter away from the line. It goes short there. And another brilliant tackle on the half. The 5'8 Chaz Dingo. Fourth tackle now. Goes short there. Six more tackles, baby. It's going to be pushed forward by Lennox Prakash. And the Manly Seagulls will eventually score. Wow. The Warriors, they almost stopped a certain try there. And a certain try set. They had four chances there, Manly. Ended up going nowhere. But Prakash is just too strong and um, managed to push his way over. Yeah, it was Isaac Simons who came out of nowhere to make a brilliant tackle on Jesse Bennett. It was the Corcoran brothers in support chasing. They didn't have the leg speed to catch up to him. And it ended up being Isaac Simons to come across and make a tackle five meters off the line. And they survived for four plays. But... They ended up getting in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And Lennox Prakash was too hard to stop there. Manly extend their lead to eight points to nil. It's a bit disappointing there for the Warriors there. I thought their defense was really strong there. But it was just... That was just an unlucky set, set piece there, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I think... If you go back to the kick, I think the Warriors... They uh, planned for Bunce to be behind the ball there to catch that. We see that play so often in the SRL. Um, and just unlucky that he wasn't... Uh, in position, or I don't know where he was. He might have been in the tackle, but uh, Bennett picked it off. Great um, cover from Simons, and uh, they almost held him out. A bit unlucky there from the Warriors. Yeah, I even got a bit worried there for the Warriors. I thought that might have even been a touch by a Warriors play there as Brad Goodwin makes another break there before Lennox Prakash crashed his way over. The ref ruled no, there wasn't a touch, but because of the short ball, it ended up putting one of the players on a one more situation as Lennox Prakash up the middle now. Bunce can't get to him. Ends up being Corcoran to make the tackle there. Foot third tackle. And once again, Manly are on the attack here. Dingo. Short ball there to Jesse Bennett. Fourth tackle now. Goes to Melhurt. Inside there to Casey K. Gets past one. Bunce is going to make it. I think he might push his way to the line. Casey K's pulled down just centimeters away now. Grubbing it in there. Too easy there. And Manly are in for another one. Yeah, well, the floodgates have opened now, haven't they? Manly, they got a little sniff. They have pounced on it. And back-to-back -back sets, they've scored a try. Beautiful little kick there. Mel Hurt goes over. Too easy for Manly. Yeah, who was it? It was Will K, it was. Bit poor there by David Barney. Should have got that ball. Bounced right past him, sort of just looking at it. And Hayden Mel Hurt came charging through the line. And he grabs a try for the Seagulls. Wow, the, if we look back just even two sets ago, this game was really in the balance and the Warriors could have taken the lead and now Manly are going to be 14 nil up. Yeah, well, I think if Chase Bunch just catches that, even if he doesn't score, I think if he just simply catches that, the Warriors are probably only 2 nil down at the minimum here. But yeah, now just well. that little play there, Ch Jesse better catching it, has just opened the floodgates and just like that Manly go from nearly being behind... To being up 14 points to nil in back-to-back -back sets, scoring tries. Yeah, well, that's what happens if you give uh, the good teams opportunities. And uh, Manly have absolutely made the Warriors pay. This has um, been a great display in the past two sets from Manly. And I think we're seeing right now what happens if Manly don't make errors in their game. As they seem a lot more organized this week. As Matt Harris takes a hit up there. He's just come on. Starting off the bench, obviously, after being injured last week. He'll be hoping to make an impact here. What I will say for the Warriors, um, Warriors is a punch it is this time making a break, is they've got their big dog on now, John Nanai. He's I, he's not used to starting off the bench. I feel like he might be going crazy to try and influence his side here tonight. Yeah, well, they definitely need him to. They're, they're losing the forward pack battle immensely at the moment, so uh, he needs to uh, have a good game.
as Prakash pushes forward, just short of the 30 there. Go short side, Matt Harris, it's going to be long pass over to Malachi Booth. Taking a good tackle there by Liam Rogers, and once again, Manly, they play it on the 10 metre line after scoring points. It's now going to be there, I think that's a knock on there from Chaz Dingo. They are going to rule it that way, and Warriors finally have the ball back. Yeah, the Warriors needed that. If Dingo got a little kick away, who knows what happened there. Uh, they absolutely just stopped the flow of points from Manly. They are just so dominant at the moment. As that's going to help, they're a penalty give it away. Holding on too long to Barna. The Warriors are going to kick to touch here and hopefully, maybe, potentially can look to put a bit of pressure on Manly. As Jaden White taps it there, I'll go... McCartney gives it short there to David Barnell. We know how strong of a second row he can be. He's had a little bit of a quiet start to the season. Maybe he's the player that can inspire something for the Warriors as Buds, they put numbers around him. That's going to be the second tackle now. Corcoran. Over to Patrick Corcoran. Palms off one player. Looking for space. It's going to be Casey K who brings him down. Third tackle. McCartney. Corcoran, over to Buds. Buds gets past one, looking for space. He can't find the offload to Isaac Simons. Fourth tackle now. It's going to go Corcoran. He pushes forward, looking for the line, and he's over. Oh, Joshua wow. Corcoran scores the opening drive for the Warriors. And they are going to score their first try of the game. Well, the Warriors needed that. Nothing doing uh, there. Corcoran just decides to take the line on himself and... Uh, he just finds a little, a little speck of paint there on the on the ball, and uh, the Warriors get their first try. When was the last player you saw bit push over Matt Harris like that? Josh Corcoran, who must have some strength in him. Yeah, well, big man on little man, and little man won. So uh, maybe great Matt Harris being a little bit Corcoran. passive there, if I had to say so myself, being a little bit passive, and Corcoran, he just finds a little speck, and now looking to kick the goal here. We'll put them within eight points. And they do. But I've got the first try now. The Warriors have to keep putting pressure on though, don't they? Vo, don't they? Yeah, they uh, they got a good set there. They put together a good set. They need this set to be good as well. It's a set off the points. They need to get down Manly's end. If they don't score, they need to uh, just put them down there and uh, put a bit of defensive pressure on them. As Wool is going to kick off here. Get us back on the way here. It goes deep. Fielded there by Joshua... I'm um, John McCartney, sorry. Gives it over to Nanai. And that's a good hit up there. Running it to Jesse Bennett. That's giving me the first tackle now. Goes McCartney. Over to Engo. Daniel Engo it is. Second tackle. It's going to be Nanai. Looking for some space. But a bit of third. Goes over to Barner. Looking to push forward. Fourth tackle now. It's going to go back. John McCartney, he wanted a oh. clean ball. It got, someone's hand got in the way. Warriors are probably lucky there that that wasn't called a knock on. But I've cleared the first set up the points. They have to, they have to set up the defense now, don't they? Yeah, well, that doesn't help. Joey Kelly, dangerous kick return. And Manly are going to start their... Uh... Set only 10 metres out from... As now, Wool looks path. for space. Sorry to cut you off there. Continue, continue. No, that's all good. That was the end of it. Oh, fair enough then. As Kyle Lewis passes it on. And once again, they're already in a massive shot. John Nanai. That was on Joey Kelly. That was a good hit there by John Nanai. As it's going to be Blackburn and take it up on the 30. Goes Wool Gives it short ball there to Matt Harris. They'll set up nicely here, 23 metres out from the Warriors' goal line. 30 minutes gone so far in this game, if you just joined us. Manly leading 14 points to 6 as Sean Walker with some space. That was a good catch there, wasn't it? Yeah, good catch there from Sean Walker. The kick was a little bit uh, wayward there, and uh, Walker able to clean it up. Have to agree then. Not the ideal kick from Manly. Not something you see very often from them. As it's going to be here and go with a massive run. Can't get away from Jesse Bennett, but did break that pass the first tackle. Third tackle now. It's going to go short side here. Corcoran it's going to be. Takes a nice hit up here. He even, in fact, gets a quick play to ball now. It's a brilliant pass over to Nanai. It is there. Gets it off. Back to Corcoran. 
Patrick Ogren gets past one. They can't get it off right there. It's going to be wrapped up there by... Looks like that might be Lennox Prakash. It goes back there. A good kick there by them. It's going to be tapped back. Buds is going to push forward. Oh. Looking for the line. And he's going to be held up there. Wow. You mentioned the impact that John Nanai had on the team. Boy, he's he hit Joey Kelly hard in the previous set. And he set up that little play there with his big line break through the middle. He's... He's bringing the energy levels up through the roof for the Warriors right now. And could you imagine if the Warriors scored there? It looked like the floodgates had completely opened. Somehow the Warriors have piled all the wood onto it and have closed it, it seems. If they had scored there, they would have been owned down by a penalty goal once again. As there's going to be Jesse Bennett to play it there. It goes back to Dingo looking for a 40-20. That's a good kick. That's that a great like kick, a in fact. Kick. That's a great kick. James Buds is going to take it. Stays in the field of play now, and he's looking dangerous. Casey K makes a brilliant oh. tackle on him, though. And so well, that was a really good pick from Dingo, and Bunce just able to clean that up and then make some meters out of it as well. Great work there from Bunce. I have to agree, man. I thought Bunce might have been away for a second. Casey K with a good cover tackle, though. As Danai plays it there. Jaden White gives it um, over to Josh... Um, Jai McCartney, sorry. Gives it to Barner. He pushes forward. There, fourth tackle, Corcoran. Short there to pa Patrick Corcoran. I'll tell you what, Pat Corcoran is usually a hooker, but his leg speed and his energy through the middle has been exceptional today, hasn't it? Uh oh. As that could have been very dangerous there. Buns gets oh. cross field to make a brilliant tackle there on Joey Kelly. We know how dangerous he can be. As it's going to be Will Kane taking a tackle there. Yeah, well, on that Joey Kelly point, I, as soon as that happened, I thought he was gone. I, I, great cover defense there from Bunce because Joey Kelly was looking very dangerous there. As another hit happens on a manly play there. It's going to be called backwards, though, as Malachi Booth gets a bit confused for a second. Stops in the line. He'll be tackled there on the 30. The Warriors can't let him score here. Lennox Prakash goes up the middle. Gets it offload back on the inside to the vice captain, Matt Harris. And that's going to be the fifth tackle now. Goes back. Dingo's going to put it high. And it's caught there by Malachi Booth with those long arms, but he's wrapped up there. Four minutes to go to the break. So far, the Warriors have managed to keep themselves in the game. What if they need to go to that, do that little bit extra so they can somehow find them some, some points to, you know, put them actually in the lead or at least by own, only down by a try? Oh, look, I think they just need to not make any errors, to be honest. I think they've been doing a pretty good job. They've looked dangerous on a couple of occasions now. They just need to stay in this, not make some errors, and uh, keep the keep Manly from scoring. And um, the points will come. They're looking pretty good at the moment, the Warriors. I have to agree there. They, look, the Manly have sort of switched off since that last try, I'd have to say. Obviously, there's still a couple of moments. You know, Joey Kelly, Matt Harris with a good run earlier. But it wasn't as dominant as that really five minute period where they scored two tries or even like a, just a three minute period as they kick down to Malachi Booth they seem to have learnt the Warriors not kicking down to Joey Kelly that time as that'll be the first tackle Kyle Lewis it is playing it there on the on the 20 meter line second tackle as it's going to be hit the head of Hayden Melhard that could have been dangerous Mullet sorry gets up towards the 30 Third tackle. He juggled it there. I thought that could have been an error there, but he managed to catch it there. To go over to Daniel Punch. Fourth tackle. Goes over to Casey K. Gets it over to Joey Kelly. He's dangerous. Gets past one. Eventually brought down there by Chance Bunce. Fifth tackle now. Kick it down. This will likely be probably the second last play of the Haas. Braun and Thompson it is. And he's wrapped up there. 20 seconds to go. I don't think much more will happen in this half. Barner. Barner pushes forward. That will likely be the final play. And it will be as we go to half time. The Manly Seagulls leading the Warriors. 14 points to 6.
are back here in the second half. It's going to be mainly to get things underway here. Wool K it is. So he kicks down all the way down to Bunsy. Gives it an Anai. Here's there. Ryan Lawrence puts it, takes her up there. A massive shot put on him. Couple changes by both teams at half time. The bench players seem to be on now. It seems to be a couple changes. I think the big change is Patrick Corcoran seems to have gone to the bench. Interesting move by the Warriors, considering he was probably one of the best players in the first half. Yeah, I think it's very interesting. Corcoran had a great game. And he's uh, one of the. He's usually hooker, right? He's usually hooked. He's playing lock today, though. So, it'll be interesting to see as LeBron Ball plays it there. I have to say, that's a pretty little first set by the um, Warriors, but that's not a good kick to end things off, as they're going to pretty much play it where the Warriors ended their set. Yeah, not a great kick there. That just uh, They had a bit of momentum building in that set and uh, ruined it near the end there with that kick. Yeah, I'd have to agree here as Lennon Prakash goes there. Goes short there inside the bend punch. Joel good it for a second. Managed to grab hold of it as that's the third tackle now. Goes Lennon Prakash. Fourth tackle. A good tackle there on the Manly second rower. As he goes there, it's going to be Daniel Punch there to break past one. Runs over to Chance Buds, but he's going to be wrapped up there by Jaden White. What a massive tackle that was. As it's going to go there and Chaz Dingo drops the ball. Warriors got lucky there, I think. Yeah, well, that's two sets now and two pretty poor ender sets. Both teams playing pretty decently at the moment. Manly just with the field position advantage at the moment. And uh, Dingo won't be very happy with that one. Yeah, he took on the line there. He was, I think he was going to put a little grubber kick and just, got ta just sort of got tackled and the ball just slipped out. So unfortunately, you know, it's just what is what it is at the moment. Let's get it over Corcoran. Long pass over to the intercept there. That's poor for the Warriors as Manly. They'll get a prime opportunity here to potentially and they give away a penalty. Decision time here. And I'm not surprised they're continuing on the attack here. Yeah, well, they really have an opportunity here to put a big nail in, uh, in the Warriors' coffin right now. It certainly won't put them completely out of it, but it will hurt if they score first. It would be disappointing for the Warriors because they ended the first half with all the momentum. But if they started here with a trifle mainly, it just puts it that much harder for them to come back here. As it goes short there, it's going to be Daniel Punch pushing forward. He'll get put on his back. Second tackle now. A meter away from the line. Short ball there. Forward, surely. They're going to call it back as KCK will be put on his back. I thought that pass went oh, forward. I don't know about on. that. I thought that, was, I thought that was pretty, I thought that was pretty uh, regulation. I didn't have a problem with that ball. Fair enough then, maybe it's just my eyes deceiving me. As KCK plays there, 10 meters out. Gives it short there to Daniel Punch. He's had a very good impact this game. He'll oh, play both the bit. Punch bros have. After a great, is a master shot put on. Lennox Prakash, I think it was. Picked up by Ryan Lawrence. That was good defense there by the Warriors. Yeah, it was good defense there by the Warriors and um, They've given himself another chance here. Great defense there from the Warriors. Manly were starting to gain on them. As Sean Walker with a good run there. Gets up over halfway. Um, over to 40, sorry. As they give away a penalty and the Warriors will get a brilliant opportunity here. Yeah, this is completely flipped on its head. Great defense from the Warriors. Really good. And um, they get the rewards and they're going to be deep on the attack here. Yeah, we'll be starting their set inside Manly's half here. Just short of the 40 there. Tap it, it goes McCartney, gives it there. It's going to be Barnum to take a hit up there. You know, it all goes off the back of that. That was a really strong run from Sean Walker, I have to say. And he tried to get a quick play to ball and mainly just wouldn't let it happen. That's what's forced the penalty. Now, if the Warriors score here, this game is anyone's to win. As, oh, yeah. as Sean Walker will play it there. 15 meters out, it goes John McCartney. He dummies it. The side stake on the line here. Tackled there, just short the 10 middle line now. Goes short side here. What a pass! Isaac Simon! No, sorry, Broder Thompson it is. My bad. That's, that's going to be the fifth tackle now. As LeBron Broad grubbles it in, wasn't a great grubber kick in the end. No one was really chasing it. Matt Harris ends up with it. 
Yeah, that one just sat up in the lap of Harris. But what about that tackle on the corner there? I thought Broughton Thomas was in for all money. Yeah, he looked like he was going to dive in the corner there, but just managed to pick him up. I'll give credit to Broughton Thomas. It did well not to go over the sideline there. But it, but mainly also did well to keep him out from the try line. As Brad Goodwin played there on the 30. Goes back to Dingo. Flat-footed there. Pushes up towards the 30. As he'll play it there. Goes back to Mavra Goldfield as he kicks it into his own player. And that is big as they're going to take the oh. two here. Usually I don't know about that. I don't think that's the worst option. It goes from... It means they're within a converted try. Yeah, I get, I get that. But with the Warriors, they've got such an opportunity here. 20 meters out. Maybe if it was a bit further out, go for it. But... Oh... I, I don't think it's the worst. I've seen worse penalty goals we made, made, trust me. But um, I don't think that's the worst one. I think that's an alright decision, considering it now puts them within a converted try, 14-8. Not a decision I would have made. But it's not the worst decision. I get the thinking. With well, it does, it does bring it down to a converted try, so it'll be very interesting to see what the Warriors do with it now. I think they just have to keep completing sets. At the moment... They're getting field position. If they keep completing sets, eventually Manly will crack. We've seen they can crack. As Engel will play it there. Goes LeBron ball. Gives it short there to David Barner. That's the second tackle. Goes over there to McCartney. Inside ball there to Bunce. A good tackle there. A good read there by Daniel Punch, it looks like it was. As McCartney gives it short there to Barner. He pushes up. He's over, nearly over halfway there. He's tackled just short of halfway. Fourth tackle now. It's going to be McCartney. Gives it there. LeBron ball it is. Tackled. Fifth tackle. 40 meters away there. A good set up to scoring points there by the Warriors. They have to defend now here is McCartney. A good bullet kick down to Malachi Booth. They have to make this tackle here. He gets past one. Eventually caught there by Bunce. That's the first tackle now. It's out of dummy half here. Cole Lewis looking for sorry. Maverick Oldford it was. Looking for space. He's wrapped up there. Goes long pass over to Ma Ma Matthew Harris. Breaks past one tackle. There's the Matt Harris we know. A good run there. Taken there. Third tackle now. We're going to go short side here. And there's a knock on there by the Manly Seagulls. And that could be big. That is big. I think I was looking back off. Good line speed by the Warriors. Putting a lot of pressure on Manly there. And they ended up getting up Trums with a knock on there. Let's see what they can do with the ball now. Chance Bunce it is. Up to all again. Breaks past one tackle. Gets an offload, in fact. To end go looking for space. Third tackle now. Corcoran. Over to McCartney. Gets past the third tackle. Fourth tackle now. Chance Bunce it is. Gets past one tackle. Looks for some space. Gets over the 10 meter line. That's going to be the fifth tackle. What are they going to do here? They need a good kick here. Corcoran. Sorry, McCartney it's going to be. Puts it high. That's not a great Taps kick. back. No one's back there. Buns comes up with it. Gets past. Nearly gets past them, but he's ended up wrapping up. Well, I will say this. That's the second time that the tap back, they've done the tap back play and Buns hasn't been there. I'm not sure if that was just a miscommunication on the play or, or what that was, but Buns needs to be there for those. They're so dangerous in the SRL. I have to agree here. If he was running on to that, he probably scores there. As we saw what happened earlier when that happened, it ended up being ended up leading to a try. So it's going to be third tackle in Manly already once again. Over to 40 for the Warriors. It's fourth tackle here. And they give away another penalty. And if we look here, it seems like the refs sort of give it a talk to both captains. Casey K and Buncey called out here. They're not happy with these penalties at the moment. We could see someone go to the bin soon. Well, it would certainly be a, a bit more flair on this awesome game already. Um, great game as Sinbin would uh, maybe a little cherry on top. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a little of interest on this game. Take it over short tidy. Over to Malachi Buffett. I think he's in. There he is. Too easy. Too easy for Manly. Just take the tap, take a little tackle, and then brilliant play out to Booth. Uh, and... Great try for Manly, and that puts him out to uh, probably two converted tries. 
Yeah, there was a lot of miscommunication there by... I think it was the Kawa Aratere and Isaac Simons there. You would have thought one of them would have gone... You know, a bit higher. Both went low and he just ended up trampling over them. And just like that, Manly are going to lead by 10. If they get this kick, they'll be leading by 12. 20 to points to 8. The Warriors aren't out of it yet. But that try was a little bit too easy for my liking. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. That, that kick uh, conversion fail definitely helps the Warriors. Um, and they still got plenty of time. They uh, need to be better on defense, though. That was a bit, that was a bit poor. Yeah, look, we've seen what they can do in defense. They had some very good defensive moments early in this game. But I think you'd find that Manly have finally found the weakness there. Isaac Simons and Nikau Aratera, they did not communicate at all and it ended up leading to a try. So if Manly want to find a weakness, they may start targeting that area a lot more. As Punch plays it there. Matt Harris now gives it short there to Brad Goodwin. Second tackle. Goes Will K. Casey K. He'll be tackled there by David Barner, it seems to be. Third tackle. Over to Dingo. He pushes forward now. Up towards the 50. Fourth tackle now. Matt Harris now. Gives it short there. And Daniel punches up the middle. Goes for a pass, but it's intercepted by Borden Thompson. That's what the Warriors needed. Could have been dangerous there, but Broughton Thompson in the right place, right time. Yeah, well, that was a dangerous looking play there from Punch, and if Broughton Thompson doesn't take that catch, I think uh, I think that's Kelly out in that right wing. Um, probably scores there. He's got a lot of speed. Yeah, I have to agree there. You know, that would have been very dangerous for the Warriors had they scored. I think if Manly score next, uh, you can write the Warriors off. It'll be too hard to come back from there, so they have to make sure they have the next team to score. Go through the line here. It's going to go McCartney. Out to Broughton Thompson. A good tackle there. Tell you what, Broughton Thompson, he's been he's been really good for the Warriors today, hasn't he? Yeah, I think he's... I actually think he's a really good player. I think he was one of their better players last week as well. And uh, same can be said for the week before. Um, he's a real good talent. And, uh, McCartney puts it a kick here. And it's going to be... Sorry to cut you off there. As Corcoran right takes it there. Sorry to cut you off there. Continue. Oh, that was the end again. Okay. As Matt <laughs> Goldfield gets up the middle, gets it off onto Dingo. This, I think, is away here. Dingo, you're not going to catch him. What a try by Manly. He's going to run away here. You want to catch him if he ran back to Australia as he's going to score another try for Manly, and I think that's going to be it for the, for the New Zealand Warriors. It's going to be very hard for them to come back now. That came from absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And Chaz Dingo, he's too much of a skill, got too much speed, and just scores a beautiful try there. Yeah, it was very, very interesting there. I think it was off an offload, and Dingo, he just got through. He just fooled them, made them look silly, as now the Warriors, although it's still possible, they need to score three tries, which would be very difficult with this melee defense. Yeah, look, I don't see it happening. I think Warriors are done for now. Uh, Manly, they may even make this a bit more ugly. Uh, if which, I'm being honest. Which I'd hate to see, considering how I think the Warriors have been pretty good today, all things considered. And it's going to be interesting to see if the, you know, if the Warriors can put something else on. I will say, though, it was around this time last half, after about 20 minutes, we mainly scored two quick tries. And the Warriors did put a bit more fight back on. With a couple of unlucky players, it could have been only two points at half time. So maybe if they can find something. Maybe a comeback could be on here. As Blackburn yeah, plays well, I think I think I'd like to see Warriors at least score one more try. Just get a bit of a consolation. This game certainly doesn't des de deserve to be this wide open at the moment. Um, it's been very tight pretty much all the way through. And I think the Warriors um, deserve to be a bit closer. Yeah, well, considering that pretty much Manly score tries in pairs. You know, if you take out one of those pairs, it's potentially only like, what, 12 to 8? Yeah. As Joey Kelly goes down the wing there, he'll be tackled there. I mean, this, how different would this game be if it wasn't for the fact that Chance Butts wasn't in the place of run five. Speaking of Chance Butts, he's over to 30. Bennett's chasing, or that might even be Will K, sorry. Oh, Chance Butts is going to run away. And that's what that fullback can do. The greatest player in the USL, that's how easily he can score right there. 
Speak of the devil. You mentioned his name. He pops up. He makes an absolute beauty of a run. He saw Dingo doing it from 5'8". He said, let me have a crack. And he absolutely burns everybody. Casey Cave, a manly fullback, was made to look silly there. Just got in all sorts of trouble. Wasn't sure which way it was going to go. And Buds just got past him too after already breaking the kick return line. And just like that, well, it's still going to be difficult. But it's only 10 points now. That's going to that's gonna put some confidence in them. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. It's certainly... I didn't expect them to score that quickly. I think it's certainly an open, an open game at the moment. And the Warriors, even this set... Um, they need this set. They need to absolutely not make an error of this set. Otherwise, it completely kills all momentum they have. They need to do well in this set. Yeah, look, I think they need to do well in the set. And then they need to kick it well and not let them step off the kick off, off the kick return. Sorry. If they can do that, get them in a corner. Get them in their own 20. I, I do think the Warriors can put a lot of pressure on the Manly Seagulls here. It's going to be first tackle here. Logan Strange is going to be up the middle now. Gets up towards the 40. That's the second tackle. That's a good run there. As our dummy half there, Jaden White, it is. Palms off one. Brought back there by, I believe, Matt Harris. That's going to be the third tackle now. Over to Barner. Fourth tackle now. Gives it over there. It's going to be Rex Slattery to be knocked back there. Now, we need... They didn't make an error. We need a good kick here. It's going to be McCartney. We need to see a good kick here. And it rebounds a charge oh. down. And it doesn't end well there. That's disappointing yeah, well, from the Warriors. We talked about the good kick and they didn't get it there. Yeah, well, that's just a bit unlucky there. The rebound um, hurting him there. McCartney just not able to get it over that first player. And uh, I think it was Kay that cleaned it up pretty uh, easily. Yeah, if they, the Warriors, you know, it's disappointing. They have to find something. If they can put on a bit of defensive effort here, we could see them potentially, um, you know, potentially put and have a good set together. But they need to just keep Manly out now. Manly cannot score again. Yeah, and the clock's ticking, so they need to. They the Warriors need to score quickly as well. I mean, last ten minutes, you can probably get two tries out of it. And as that kick will help. That will help there. Dingo, bit too much toe on it. Not what you'd expect from your experienced players like that. As Rex Slattery now have a good run. That's off the tap restart too. They're going to be pretty much done in their set. Past the 30 here. This is good from the Warriors. Short side here. The Kara Aratera now. And it's first tackle when they're already inside their own half. This is good from the Warriors. This is what they needed. It's going to be... Yeah, this is what they needed. Go Ryan Lawrence now. Pushes forward there. We'll play it there. 35 meters out now. Goes McCartney. Short ball there to Barner. Third tackle now. Corcoran. Short there to Liam Rogers. 18 meters away now. This is a good set here from the Warriors. Goes over there to Logan Strange. He'll take a settler there. Fifth tackle. Now they need a good kick here. They need a good kick. McCartney puts it high. That's a good kick. A good kick, I think. Tapped back. And it's going to be brought its oh. opposite, but another brilliant tackle on the big raging winger. And they just survived there, Manly. As now, that's not this, that's disappointing there. Ben punched straight through a gap there. And now all the pressure relief's just like that. Yeah, well, Manly, they're so good. And we've seen it again. They've just turned the Warriors away. Momentum flowing uh, straight in their direction, the Warriors. And uh, that uh, pressure gauge has just been released instantly. Oh, yeah, I have to agree with us. Kyle Lewis plays it there. We're going to go short side here. Over to Malachi Booth. Malachi Booth's down. A good tackle. It's past one. Bunce eventually wraps him up. Fourth tackle now. We're going to be just past, just short of the 20 there. Fourth tackle. Goodwin pushes forward. Fifth tackle now. 12 meters short now. I think that's a knock on. They're going to save play on. Logan Strange picks it up. Let's put a good shot on there. But they survive. Well, the clock's ticking. Eight minutes to go. The Warriors are going to need something pretty special to come back now. Yeah, look, I think the Warriors need a score in either this set or the next. I think the, their time is running out to start getting uh, 
some points on the board. It's a quality opposition, so they're going to have to score quickly and they're going to need a, a, a good set off the back of that. I'd have to agree there, as that's the third tackle there. Corcoran plays it. Gives it short there to Slattery. And if they can't score this set or do anything this set, they need to force an error in the next from Manly. Corcoran bunts over to Isaac Simons. He was manhandled pretty easily there. That's the fifth now. Goes back. Liam Rogers kicks it. That was a good kick. Not expecting Liam Rogers to kick it, but that was a good kick. Take him on Malachi Booth. They managed to make the tackle. Let's see what they can do with it now. And that's a knock on. Oh, that is big. Help. That, that is, is big. big. That is massive. That's not big. That's massive. The Warriors with a beautiful opportunity here. As a short ball to Logan strange. strange. Looking for some space. It's going to be wrapped up there. Cole Lewis it is with a big tackle. Corcoran. Short there. It's going to be oh, called oh, forward. No. no, 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 no. No way that was forward. Oh, that, that really stings. I thought they were in for sure there. The ball looks beautiful, but it was just an inch or two forward. I don't even know if that was forward. I thought it was back. Oh, it'll be, inter it'll be an interesting replay to look at. Warriors are in for sure there. It was a brilliant short ball, a brilliant line ran. But the touch judge says that one floated forward. As now, Manly City was pushed forward here. And, well, that might just do us for the Warriors. It's going to be quite hard there. Blackburn, a good run there. Fifth tackle. And look how easy Manly just make meters there. It's going to be Dingo to put it high. That's a great kick. Taken there by Isaac Simons. Gets past one. And Malachi Booth eventually wraps him up. That is some moment in the context of the Warriors' season. Not just this game, their season. Yeah, well, they're going to be starting 1-2 and two now if they lose this, unless they pull something out of their uh, magician's hat. But uh, that's, that hurts. That really hurts. I, I still think that... I, I don't know. I don't think that was forward. I think it floated... I think it maybe floated forward, but can do that. It just has to be back out of the hands, and I think it did that as a poor kick there. And Manly might just seal the nail on the coffin here. Yeah, well, that'll be it. Even if the Warriors can get some miracle play, I don't think they've got enough time. Yeah, well, it roughly takes about two minutes, so... It's going to be tough here as it goes there. Brilliant run there by Kyle Lewis. He'll be wrapped up there. Will K pushes forward. That's the fourth. Goes long ball over to Ethan Goodwin. He'll replay it there. Fifth tackle now. Manly looking to put the nail on the coffin here. This, they definitely don't deserve the score here with what's happened in this game. I think the scoreline probably represents it. As it's tapped back there. And Casey K, just like he always does, he'll score for a final try for Manly. Yeah, well, I think that try pretty much summarizes this game up. And, uh, and that's that uh, Manly are too damn good. They've uh, only had limited opportunities, and every time they've pretty much uh, executed on it. We saw Bunts earlier miss two of those opportunities with uh, not being in position, and um, I think Cap Chapman Kenny's too good for that. Yeah, well, Bunts, he scored the driver, got them back into it, and then it was... We've got to keep talking about that pass, that pass. Look, obviously we're already calling it live. We cannot see the official replay of it. But I'm interested to look at it again and see if I still think that was back. Because I put, I thought live that was back. Uh, I thought I thought live it was it was marginal. I, I'm not I can't be certain. I can see it going either way. Fair enough. Then well the ref did call it forward, so for a moment that's the call we'll have to go. We don't have any other choices. Cork will kick back off. There's a 50 seconds to go of the game. He kicks back off. Dingo gives it there to Kyle Lewis. Breaks past one tackle, Kyle Lewis will play it there just short of the 20. Final plays for the game. Gives it short there to Joshua Blackburn. Dingo over to Ben Pudge. Pushes forward. And that's going to be it. The Seagulls go 17 games in a row now.
on the trot as the Warriors start their season only with one win out of their first three games. Yeah, well, that's kind of insane. The Warriors had a bit of a rocky start to the season. Uh, one and two. I think that they uh, would be pretty disappointed with that. But if you look at the opponents they've had, they've had uh, the Cowboys and Manly, and uh, those two are pretty tough opponents. So um, hopefully they can get back on track. Yeah, when you look at the stats, Manly having 53% on the ball, making 10 errors. Wasn't very Manly-like with what you'd expect from them making 10 errors, but in the end, I think it was a pretty interesting game. As we have a look here, Daniel Punch, 208 run meters. He had a massive impact, didn't he? I'll tell you what both the Punch uh, bros did. Ben Punch also had a pretty good game, almost 100 run meters. Uh, yeah, 15, 15 tackles with only, or with no miss, sorry. Three line breaks. Great performance there from both of the punches. When you look at the Warriors, I think, I think Broden Thompson was, I just think overall, I think some of his defensive tackles were pretty good too. I think, I think he had a very strong game too. Hand everything that mainly oh, came. I tell you what, I too. tell you what, Bunts can be so quiet, yet so deadly. Yeah. I felt like I didn't notice him at all. <laughs> 267 Boy, run good. meters. Yeah, I think, I think Logan Strange also had a good performance, but in the end, Manly were just too good. In the end, probably Manly did deserve to win that game. They were the better team. But I'm interested to see if he on replay. You know, yeah, I'll tell you what, I think the, I think the 20 points, 20 points to 24, if they had scored that try, I think that score is reflective of this game. I think um, it certainly doesn't deserve to be this big of a margin, and... Um, I think the Warriors were valiant in their efforts. Yeah, I think, I think if you're the Warriors, bet chance bunt that is, Warriors captain, I think you look at this game and go, we did a pretty good effort there. The scoreline does not reflect how hard they tried. Yeah. But anyway, thank you for joining me, Jack Carl, as always. Carl, sorry. Um, and I guess we'll I'll see you guys later.